Move it on to the zone editor. I've opened it up and first thing we see is our synth sample right in here. Now I've switched off all the looping that we had here. And above the sample are a couple things. These right here. This is a hot swap, of course. And any layer, this, this is a layer that my sample is in. Any layer that is selected will be replaced by whatever you choose uh, using the hot swap. So I guess that could be used to maybe replace more than one sample at a time. Then auto, to, uh, to demonstrate that I better drop in a second sample. And I have this one, uh, this other synth right here. Let me grab that. There we go. Now auto is really only effective if you have more than one sample in there because what it does is automatically select the sample that you're playing. Lin and pow are for linear and equal power crossfades. That sounds more technical than it is. We'll look at that later too. First key, that's where we're in right now. This is where you determine where on the keyboard your sample is. And it has a keyboard up top to make that easier. See, let's go to uh, C3. Is over there, right? So I want to change the position of these samples. They're both selected now, so they both move. If I select only one, I can move that. Let's put this one on B2, like so, the other on C3. Just grab the handles there. Okay. Can move them around like this. And I can make layers. Like so. I can use uh, crossfades too. And this is where the, where the fades come in. It's now on linear that gives a very straight crossfade. If you look closely, you see that tiny little bar. You use that to uh, to set the crossfades. This one right here. I should totally do this the other way around, of course. So the longer the fade is, the more the color fades out too. That's smart. See, it's gone here now. If I make this a little longer. Right? So that's the key editor with the crossfading. You put this all back. I know, I just put the two samples on two keys. Right, velocity then. You know, actually, let's go back and put the samples on the same keys again for this. Makes a lot more sense. So that's the two of them together. And in velocity, instead of a keyboard, we have a velocity scale up top. Works the same, whatever sample is selected will get affected like so. So I want this sample to only play when I hit the keys with the velocity of, let's say, up until 70 maybe. Put it there, roughly, and the other one above that. And you see the, the velocity indicator up top in yellow. And like the key editor, you can crossfade these two. So they fade in and out a bit. And a lot of big sample libraries use velocity crossfading as standard. So, that's the Velocity Editor. Let me get this all back um, to where it was. It's a lot faster if I uh, just select both samples, like so. And boom, 
and uh, on the other side too. All right, now the selection editor is something else. Let's go to the next video and see what that's about.